New tonight, Epic Charter Schools are now back in compliance with Oklahoma Charter School regulators. News nice Felice Romero joins us now live in the newsroom with an update. Felice. This news coming less than a month after the Department of Education placed them on probation. School leaders announcing today they have taken more than 50 corrective actions. A two-year compliance process coming to an end for Epic Charter Schools. Oh, really significant vote here. Right. Dr. Franklin. The statewide virtual charter school board of education voting on the district's compliance Tuesday evening. I think it's really important to say that throughout this process over the, the last months, we have been encouraged by the way Epic has responded. Epic charter schools taking several steps to get into compliance, including severing all ties with previous management, establishing a new board and consolidating Epic one on one and Epic blended charter. The big decision to separate from the management company was monumental. The reconfiguration of the board was not easy and the consolidation of the two schools to one uh, again, being that last tipping point that really kind of gets us to that place is, uh, again, really encouraging. The Epic superintendent releasing a statement saying it has been a long road, but we're grateful for the patience and direction provided to us by the statewide virtual charter school board and its leadership. Our compliance auditor, Skyler, has been out monthly doing really heavy work. The district also hiring a new deputy superintendent of finance to strengthen transparency. Hopefully it, it allows them to do things with more fidelity and to do it more efficiently and effectively serving with the confidence that the stakeholders and our taxpayers expect. School leaders say the ruling today was a result of commitment to transparency and organization-wide transformation. Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.